is working on a big confident communicator book, number eight. He is on project number two, organizer speech. His objectives today are to select appropriate outline which allows listeners to easily follow and understand the speech, to make his message clear with supporting material directly contributing to that message, to use appropriate transition when moving from one idea to another, and finally, to create a strong opening and conclusion. His speech today is five to seven minutes. Thank you, Patty. In this age of office work, sensitivity, and Oprah Winfrey, men, haven't you ever wanted to get in touch with your masculine side? To get in touch with your inner caveman and engage in some healthy pillaging or maybe invade some small country? Well, today's speaker has a solution for you. Fortunately, a solution that won't have you landing in some third world jail. Sharing a message today about how you can man up, please join me in welcoming Jeffrey Perti. Gentlemen, have you ever wanted to get in touch with your feminine side? Is your idea of an ideal evening curling up on the sofa and spending two hours watching Bette Midler and Barbara Hershey share their feelings in the movie Beaches? Do you know the difference between the colors fuchsia, mauve, or, heaven forbid, periwinkle? If you answered yes to any of these questions, this speech is for you, because it is time for you to man up. Yes, our theme today is great accomplishments in our lives. And sadly, I have never had the opportunity to invade a small country. I've never had the opportunity, a la Bruce Lee, to fight off a horde of whirling dervishes with my incredible self-defense skills. No, I have never done any of this. But I have experienced all of these and much more through a genre of fiction I call man fiction. You can think of man fiction as something of, oh, the opposite of the Oprah Winfrey Book Club. These are books where almost nobody discusses their feelings. These are books that provide you with virtually no life lessons. These are books that simply take you into an area when men were men and women were women, and we got in touch with our paleo selves from the caveman era, when we went out, slew the dragons, dragged them home for the woman folk to cook them, the way men are supposed to be. <laughs> now, you have in front of you a handout, because it's no good to just provide you with the theory of man fiction without giving you some examples of books that you may want to pursue. These are three of my current favorite man fiction articles, starting with the Harry Bosch series by Michael Connolly. Michael Connolly is an interesting author. He got his start as a beat reporter in South Florida, right during the years of the cocaine cowboy wars, portrayed in movies and TV series when they were basically murdering each other on the streets of Miami, fighting over the drug trade in South Florida. So he has a wonderful background in quick beat report writing. His background is very similar to what I call the fathers of man fiction, that Dashiell Hammett, uh, who did it, Raymond Chandler, his dialogue is short and snappy. His, her his hero is a Los Angeles detective named Harry Bosch. Harry Bosch is a fascinating character because even though he's a Los Angeles police detective, his his uh, attitude is that he has to fight the bureaucracy of the L.A. police establishment just as much as he has to fight the bad guys. And he's always on the side of right. He's always taking charge. He's always defending the little guy. He's always helping the lady out of her troubles. That is a wonderful series. By the way, interesting note, a lot of these I have actually read in audiobook format. The great thing about man fiction is they're snappy, fast-paced novels. They're perfect for listening to audiobooks because you hardly need to remember where you were last time because the plots are so similar all the time. The good guy is going to beat the bad guy and save the lady. So it really doesn't matter where you left off. You can always pick it up. 
The second in the genre of man fiction I wish to call to your attention is Robert Crace. Robert Crace writes a great series of books featuring private detective Elvis Cole and his partner, Joan, uh, Joe Pike. Elvis Cole is a former ranger. Joe Pike is a former marine. These two gentlemen practically define the term taciturn. They speak little, carry a big beretta, and take care of business without a whole lot of dialogue. If Joe Pike, excuse me, if, um, if uh, Elvis Cole is quiet, Joe Pike can practically make it through an entire novel and not say seven words of dialogue. It's pretty interesting. He mostly just grunts as an ex-Marine, and he is the enforcer of the, of the two. What's interesting about this is you may think that man fiction, man fiction is just a genre where uh, the men have an excess of testosterone, kind of like Rambo, looking for some small country to invade, festooned with hand grenades, carrying a Beretta on one hand, an AK-47 in another. But it's not really like that because they are almost always in defense of people who cannot defend themselves. They are not uh, violent types by nature, but they always engage in violence when it's needed, something that I have never done in my entire life. One of the reasons I'm an accountant. You know, I don't like violence, I don't like conflict, but I do like to read about it. Finally, I want to share with you my current favorite author of man fiction, Lee Child. And he has one series about Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher is an ex-military policeman. He wanders from town to town in search of an opportunity to go do good for the people of that town. Now you're probably thinking, that seems kind of odd. Well, yes, it is kind of odd, but it works in this series. What's especially interesting about this, now you've got to kind of go with the flow here, you and I wander into a strange town, and we sit down in a cafe and have breakfast. What's likely to happen? Well, we have breakfast, we pay our bill, and we leave. Is that pretty much it? Not in this series of novels. Jack Reacher wanders into a small town, sits down in the cafeteria, and has breakfast, and he's immediately arrested. And by being arrested, he ends up in jail, whereupon he learns of some dastardly deeds that are happening in that town exactly right for a man like Jack Reacher to save the day. It's great stuff. Even if you are a lady, not really in touch with your masculine side, you may want to give these series of man fiction a try. It's just a fun read. So, if you have ever wanted to up your testosterone count, but do so in the safety of your own home, I recommend and commend these man fiction series to you. You can live out your dreams, Get that testosterone up, save the damsel in distress, and still make popcorn for the late movie. Mr. Toastman.